Okay, so can you uh, tell us what's going to take place tomorrow, the day after Liberty Forum? Right. Okay, so Carlos Miller is still in town, and uh, he's the guy from Photography is Not a Crime, really uh, brave ph uh, photography freedom activist who will refuse to stop recording. He won't stop recording if he's told to by the police. And he's taken an interest in some of the things that have been going on here with the oppression of the media, including yourself, uh, that have been going on for the last few years, actually. And he's been paying attention the whole time, and now he's here. So he's ready to uh, try to hold some of these people accountable, uh, Carlos Miller style. So tomorrow morning, we'll be at district court, uh, where he will be looking for Judge Burke, uh, the man that wears the robe in that particular court, and uh, we'll be looking to talk to him prior to actually him getting to his job. So somewhere between when he gets out of his car and when he goes up to the second floor of the court, uh, Carlos Miller will be talking. Uh, we'll be talking with him. And then uh, after that, uh, you know, presuming Carlos doesn't get arrested for this, or the multitude of other camera people and observers uh, don't get arrested in this incident, incident, uh, we'll then go over to the Superior Courthouse where I will be attempting to do some business. Uh, when uh, they sent me a rejection recently for my name change, which I uh, had objected to paying the fee for, um, so that's why they rejected it, because I wouldn't, I won't get them money for it. I, I would like to go and talk to them about that. Uh, I would like to, you know, possibly make an alternative offer. Perhaps I could, you know, give some money to a charity rather than actually pay the fee, because I, I can't, in good conscience, give them money. So that's what I want to talk to them about, and uh, as you know, Tally, uh, both you and I have been banned from the court along with three other uh, liberty activists in the area, Derek, and Kelly, and uh, Kate, and they have told us that... And Bo. Bo as well, I'm sorry. Um, and they have told us, that's more than I recall, uh, that we can't uh, go on the entire property, so including the uh, parking lot, sidewalk out in front of the front doors, and I've been threatened with arrest multiple times now because I still keep going back to do jury outreach there. And it's really restricted my ability to, uh, to reach out to potential jurors, uh, as well as restricted my ability to go to a public trial and things like that because they want me and you to, they want uh, you and I and everyone else to beg them for permission to call the sheriff and set an appointment to come to the building to do whatever business uh, that we have there. But you did. I mean, you called twice, I believe. I had, uh, I did not call. It doesn't say I have to call in, in the order. It just says I'm supposed to contact um, you know, the man calling himself the sheriff and set an appointment. Mm -hmm. um, so I had uh, talked to one of his subordinates and requested that he contact me because I you know, wanted to talk to him. Uh, and he never did. You know, I was told he was going to come down. This was one morning I was doing jury outreach and one of his subordinates was around, and I talked to him for a moment, and he said he's in the building, and he's going to come outside, he's going to cross the street, he can talk to you then. And he never came outside, and I had to go, because I have things to do, obviously. I can't wait around all day for uh, Dick Foote, the sheriff, to come outside of his building. So I left, and um, his sergeant had my phone number, if I'm recalling correctly. So he knew I wanted to talk to him, he never called. A few days later, I ran into that same sergeant, uh, Sergeant Garicki, Mike Garicki, and he told me that, well, you weren't out there when he, you know, when the sheriff left the building. And I said, well, I still would like to talk to him. Would you pass that on to him? And he said he would. So, again, I put in two requests to talk to this guy, and he hasn't gone back to me. So I've got business to do. What am I supposed to do is basically my, my position. Uh, I'm going to go to the court. And uh, since I have business to do there, and then it's supposed to be public business, so I'd like for other people to be able to see it. Uh, so some of my friends, uh, Derek and Kelly, who have also been banned from the court, will be attending with me. Mm. So it should be an interesting morning. Okay. Well, I hope it uh, goes well, and I hope uh, the courts allow for transparency and video documentation. And if not, uh, we'll have some people in jail cells tomorrow. Hopefully it doesn't come to that, and uh, I appreciate you waiting because it's a lengthy explanation. It's, it's such a detailed situation, and obviously you know, I didn't even begin to touch on the crackdowns that have been happening in these places. I mean, what, what's been happening? Okay, well, we're taking this video in case something does happen and uh, you do get arrested so that you can explain it. Uh, so thank you very much.